Deze was zo. Dit is Pleist de Boeven. En dan meter of baking. Mijn video. Top 25. Top must Pleist de Boeven Bobbert. Of 2022. Achter Bobbert. And until it's done, I won't edit any other videos. Which means that the video from the recent Denmark trip won't be edited until I get that video done and a few others. But to hold you guys over, I am going to split segments from my upcoming video, which are commentaries, which will be part of that fucking video. One of these commentaries within that upcoming video is on that awful video made on Silent Drop. So here's the commentary. Enjoy. Number 12. Silent Drop, get on with the times. Now before I address the video with a commentary, there's one more important thing that I have to say. Yes, that video was fucking terrible and I did a very bad job on my points. However, that does not excuse his fanboys and Silent Drop himself going to the comment section and being complete dicks. Seriously, Silent Drop, it was completely uncalled for that you made fun of my voice and used the fact that not many people watch my videos as an argument against me. You are just being a dick by doing that. And you are a huge fan of your snowy last. So I don't think I deserved the backlash I got from him or his fans. That was still uncalled for. But nevertheless, the video is fucking terrible. So I am gonna address it now. Hey guys, what's up? This is Splice the Movie Fan. And you know, I have been thinking about why Silent Drop hates the edit gamer so much. And. I got it all figured out. I mean, you already know why he doesn't like the Arid Gamer. Since he has said it himself. I'm not sure why thinking deeply about it is even needed. Now I thought long and hard about his video style and it just occurred to me. The reason why Silent Drop hates Chris Bors even to this day is because he is still living in 2007. By that logic, Everyone who doesn't like the Arid Gamer Show must be living in 2007. You have a lot of friends who don't like the Arid Gamer Show, right? By that logic, they must still be living in 2007 as well. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? And honestly, my point makes sense if you think about it. Again, not like the Arid Gamer Show is not an outdated viewpoint at all. I'm sure the hate isn't as extreme as it was back then. But there are still many people who don't like the Arid Gamer Show. His usual style when it comes to the video making is severely outdated. Here's a question, who fucking cares? I mean seriously, this isn't even worth bringing up. Let alone making a whole fucking video about it. Now don't get me wrong, a cunt persona is still a thing on YouTube. Yeah. Acting like a total cunt is still a thing that happens on YouTube and some people can do it in an entertaining way. But the way he does it on the other hand, yeah, it's very outdated. So how does one instead of doing it make it outdated and how does another one make it modern? I really don't get your point here. No wonder he still hates Chris for what he did in 2007 and thinks it's still relevant. Okay, I will give you at least some credit. You made a good point here. The fact that Silent Drop is treating the problems with his videos back in 2007, like they're still relevant, is pretty messed up. He has literally no frame of time. And you're basing this off the fact that he still hates the Arid Gamer. And yet again, so what if his content hasn't evolved? Jeremy Jens is pretty much the same guy he was back in 2010. His style hasn't changed much, but he still makes great videos, so again, this doesn't really matter in the end. It's clear that he still thinks it's 2007. Alright, there is something that I have to point out. Although his style hasn't changed since then, which again doesn't fucking bear, his opinions have changed with time. Back in 2006, he used to fucking love the angry video game nerd, but now he hates him. Now, of course, that doesn't excuse him being a dick towards people who still like the angry video game nerd, but yeah, that has changed, so you aren't entirely right. And now he tries to deny that he was ever a fan of the angry video game nerd, but he can't deny it. Facts are facts. Seriously, man, you have no excuse. Get the fuck over it. Yes, it was extremely scummy of Chris Bors to flag your videos and end your career. He literally shut down his entire channel and all because he made a video criticizing him. No shit, he would still hold grudge over that. This isn't so that you can just forgive someone for or swap him to the rug. All of his videos were fucking gone because of what Chris did to him back in 2007. That's not a good thing at all. If I were in his shoes, I would still hold grudge over that too. Do you not realize how serious that is? I don't think anybody is going to dispute that was a scummy thing of him to do. 
and yet you still think you should just get over it. You really are underestimating how serious this is, aren't you? And the fact that you are still demanding an apology is fucking pathetic. Except it's not. Not repeating myself, my points from earlier still stand. Yeah, it was a scummy thing of him to do, but you have to learn to get the hell over it. That happened all the way back in 2007. That was over a fucking decade ago. My god, you're still on this? Silent Drops entire fucking channel was terminated only because he dared criticizing Chris Bors back in 2007. And that's a bad thing because when you're terminated, all of your videos are gone. Thankfully, that didn't quite happen to Silent Drop because he thankfully had many fans who re-uploaded his content. But he still had to start over on a new channel. Why do you want him to get over something like this? This is very serious and a simple apology wouldn't even be enough for the scummy shit Chris did to him back then. And guess what? He's no longer like that. He's now more open to who he is, which he was back in 2007. He interacts with people a lot more than he did back then. And best of all, he actually took the criticism he got in the past and improved all the things that people had issues with when he returned. In 2020. I mean, you are right. He's a totally different person now than he was back then. But it doesn't change, though, how Sandrop's grudge with Chris Bors is legitimate. Now, of course, you don't recognize any of that because you're still living in the fucking past and think that the criticism that applied to his 2007 videos applied to his current content as well. It doesn't. Again, I agree. The fact that these treating 37 Pro Plus like they are still relevant is pathetic. If that was all there is to the video, this wouldn't be a better video. But nevertheless, we're gonna have to return to the video and there are more problems. Seriously, but move the fuck on already. I'm gonna address something said by Silent Drop fanboys. And yes, I am calling them fanboys because no way in hell are they rational. Apparently telling him to move on is wrong because he hasn't made a video talking about the Eric Gamer in years. Why the hell does that even bear? Do you idiots have proof that he hasn't changed his opinion since that video he made two years ago? Are you at all convinced that he hasn't changed his mind? No, there's no indication that he has changed his mind since then. So me bringing it up is still relevant. It doesn't fucking matter if he hasn't made a video recently. If he still stands by the opinion he made that video two years ago, which I'm sure he does. It's still fucking irrelevant, you morons. Okay, back to the actual video. Oh, and back to the topic of your style. It again doesn't fucking bear. Honestly, I will admit that they do find your style of a current person to be funny as hell. But that does certainly change to how your style is extremely fucking outdated. So you like his style? And why the hell is this even an issue? I know I already brought up how fucking pointless it is to talk about how his style is apparently outdated. But the fact that you like his style makes this even worse. I mean, by the beginning of a lot of videos, you say, What's up, bitch? Yes. Who the hell even says that anymore? Yes, it was extremely common in 2007. But now, in the fucking 2020s, who the hell even says, What's up, bitches anymore? Literally no one does, except you apparently. I mean, you're right. No one really says that anymore. But isn't that a good thing? I mean, that makes his phrase here unique when it comes to modern YouTube. It is a great thing, not a bad thing. At the top of that, modern YouTube is fucking horrible. Most YouTubers care more about getting their videos monetized than they care about quality videos. And that is definitely a big thing that made YouTube go downhill massively. They aren't saying that much anymore because most YouTubers don't fucking care about the quality of their content. How the hell do you not see what you just said here is dumb? Now, I will admit, when the Iron Gamer returned in 2020, he did something similar. He made videos in the same style as was common back then. But here is what he did which you didn't do. He brought back the good aspects from the golden era on YouTube. He did videos the same style as the videos back then that made them entertaining and worth watching. He brought back the good aspects of the past. But with you on the other hand, it's the opposite. You are still stuck in the past and still do the old style and do the bad aspects of that era on YouTube. There's no real difference between how Silent Drop does it and how Chris Bors does it. These are just double standards on your part. Blade and double standards. It's not really fair towards Silent Drop. 
Also, didn't you admit earlier on in the video that you actually like Charlotte Rope's content? So why the hell do you even care that it still hasn't evolved with time? If it works, there's no reason to change it. The only major difference is that Chris Burst intended to bring the old style of video making back while Silent Rope legitimately didn't evolve with time. But honestly, it's a very minor difference, so yeah, you still have fucking double standard. The absolute worst of the toxic ones. Hold on, are you saying that toxicity is one in the past. I hate to say it, man, but that's far from true. There are unfortunately still bad videos out there where people are being extremely fucking toxic, especially those who treat their opinions on movies like facts. I don't watch many of these videos as they are a waste of time to be, but sadly, those kinds of videos still exist on YouTube and are very common, and not to mention, they get a lot of fucking views. And the toxicity of those videos is far worse than the toxicity of Silent Drops videos. Also, even if we brought back the toxicity of the past, so what? Like I said, most people aren't willing to honestly state their minds because they are afraid of getting demonetized. So, a YouTuber who doesn't give a fuck about that and freely speaks his mind is so that YouTube desperately fucking needs now. Which, come to think of it, this makes my point from earlier that there is no real difference between Silent Drop using an old style and Chris Burr using an old style. Even stronger, which makes your double standards from earlier even worse. You still hate the Irish Gamer and pretend that what it did back then is still relevant. It's not. There's one problem with this video which I didn't mention before, but I might as well mention it since it's a big problem. Repeat yourself a lot throughout the video. I apologize that I repeated some of my points, but I did because the original video is repetitive as well. I mean, this is a valid point, but you already share it. In fact, repeat a few of the same points throughout the video. This video is so unstructured, it's embarrassing. Oh, and by the way, it's not just the fact that you're using an outdated style. You also do some things in your videos that was never that cool to begin with. And nobody did even back then. Yeah, I am bringing that up again says it is still pathetic. You shouldn't be concerned with people liking the angry video given that they are at gamer so much. You should be happy for them and say, oh, you like these two, that's cool. They're not my cup of tea, but it's cool that you like them. And this is not a request. You have to do it, says that's what mature adults do. Now, you're clearly the same age as me. I know that's true. I am over 30 and you are over 30. And because of that, you should know better than to care so much about people liking the edit gamer and the angry video game nerd. You should respect their opinions, because if you don't, well, you are not acting your age. Seriously, man, grow the fuck up. I mean, you are right, but you already addressed this in another video. Was there really any need to rehash this in this video? This just proves to me that there wasn't enough material to begin with to make a video, so you here to go off topic a bit to make it a full video. It's, it's not really a good way to go. And considering that the main subject of the video is fucking pointless to begin with, that makes it even worse. Yeah, you never should have made this video because there is barely any substance to it. Now I know that you don't like the angry video cannot anymore, but he did something which you failed to do. He evolved his style. He adapted with the times. Except not really. The only thing that has changed about the angry video you cannot show is that it now relies more skits than actually reviewing the game. And honestly, it's a completely legit reason on Charlie Drop's part to hate the angry video you cannot show for that. Says the review portion is what he comes to the angry video you cannot for. Anyway, aside from that, the angry video you cannot is pretty much the fucking same as he was back in 2006. The angry video you cannot still swears like a motherfucker. The angry video you cannot is still an ASO. There are still shit references throughout the fucking AVGN show. So no, the angry video you cannot has not really evolved with the times. It's still pretty much the same show as it was back then. The angry video you cannot show evolved. It's not the same as it was in 2007. Again, it's pretty much fucking is. But the power it has exactly evolved. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still fucking love the angry video you cannot show. But the style is still almost identical to what it was back in 2006. With more focus on skits being the only major difference. So, yet again, I don't know what the hell you're even talking about. I mean, sure, shit references at the angry actions 
are still a big part of the angry video generation but there are a lot of things that are different now he tried new things I mean sure there might be some new things added to the show but that doesn't change how the general premise and common themes are the same as they were back then what exactly is revolutionary with the angry video game nerd? that was it a thing back then please explain that to me because I really don't see it you know Silent Drop, instead of mindlessly hating the angry video game nerd, you should learn from him and evolve and adapt. Why the hell would you take inspiration from someone he doesn't like? He clearly doesn't like the angry video game nerd anymore. So obviously he's not gonna take inspiration from him. So overall, yeah, my video on Silent Drop was a bass and a pointless video to make because who fucking cares that his style hasn't adapted with the times? If his style works, it still works. And hell, I even admitted that I still like his videos. So, what was the fucking issue exactly? And it also doesn't help that, speaking as someone who records his respect in other people's opinions, I told him to get over his hatred of Chris Bors. He honestly, I should have respected his opinion, especially his sons, still holding grudge over him terminating his channel. It's completely valid. This video never should have been made since it's just a bit video overall.